Hey everyone, in today's video I want to show you how you can download all your photos from Facebook. You can do this on a mobile device such as I'm doing on a Google Pixel 6 phone or you can do this on something like a laptop or desktop computer. First I'm going to show you how to do it on a mobile device and you can use the timestamps down in the video description to jump to where I start showing you the tutorial on how to do this on a laptop computer. Starting off on a mobile device, first you wanna go into your Facebook app. You should see a screen such as what I see here. And from this point, you can go ahead and tap on your profile icon in the upper right corner. After tapping on that, this brings up your menu and there's a gear icon in the upper right corner. I'm gonna tap on that. This takes me into settings and privacy and I'm gonna use my finger and scroll up to get to the bottom of this menu. Towards the bottom of this menu, there is a section titled Your Information. And uh, in that area, there's a place to tap that says download your information I'm gonna tap on that from this point it says uh, download profile information and account center I'm going to tap on the blue continue button and this takes me right to a screen that says download your information there's a button here that says download or transfer information I'm going to tap on that now if you have multiple accounts like I do because I have a business account as well as some Instagram accounts and things uh, it's asking you here, where do you want to get your information from? It, I would suggest you just start with one of those profiles. So uh, there's a clear all. You can go ahead and tap on that. This is going to uncheck mark everything. And I'm just going to check mark my personal Facebook account. And then from this point, I'm going to hit next at the bottom of the screen. And then here it says, how much information do you want? And you have to choose here if you want all the available information, which is going to take much longer to download or just specific types, I'm going to tap on specific types. The more specific you are, the less time it's going to take to download this information. So from this point, it says, what information uh, do you want from this profile? I'm going to check mark where it says posts and then hit next. And in this instance, I'm going to download this to my device. So I'm gonna hit next. And then under where it says my profile information, it says date range. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. And again, the larger amount of time that you are selecting, the longer it's going to take to download this information. Just for uh, example purposes, I'm going to select last week. And then with that selected, I'm going to hit save. And then from this point, I'm going to tap on uh, create files. So now I get a message at the bottom of my screen saying the information you requested is being prepared uh, and it's downloading. Now, if you are doing a larger chunk of time, maybe a month or a year's worth, this might take several hours to generate, but essentially, Facebook is going to send you a notification letting you know that your download is ready. In the meantime, while you're waiting for this to download, you can hit done. It's still going to continue to generate that file of all the information you want to download. Now I've just got a notification that my files that I've requested are ready to download. So I can go ahead and tap on that notification. Now the other thing is uh, Meta, which is the owner of Facebook, is also going to send an email to your email on file letting you know in your files that you requested are ready to download as well with a link in it. So by tapping on that notification, it now brings me back to the download my information page. And I can see in the middle here that I've got available downloads. It says you'll have four days to download the files to your device. So from this point, I'm going to hit download. It's gonna prompt me to re-enter my password. And then from this point, it takes me to my downloads and I can actually see on my phone that a zip file has been created and downloaded. So from this point, what I suggest you do is go into the files on your phone. You can do this by going to the search bar uh, on my phone, it's at the bottom. Go ahead and tapping on that and typing in the word files. Typing this in brings up the files icon in the upper left, I'm gonna tap on that. I can now see all of the files that are on my phone and I wanna tap on downloads, which is under categories in the middle of the screen. Under downloads, I can see the file right at the top that was downloaded, it says today. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on that file. Doing this brings up a uh, window that wants me to extract this zip file. So when you download all these files from Facebook, it compresses them into what it considers a zip folder. Just saves, makes it easier for downloading. You need to extract this. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the extract button. 
and then I can go ahead and tap done. So now if I look at my downloads folder, I will see all the images that were downloaded from Facebook. And depending on what I want to do with these, I can select them by long pressing down on any one of them. And you'll see these little circles pop up on the right. I can tap multiple uh, images that I want to do something with. So with these files selected, there's the little Pac-Man that's uh, one of the icons in the top right. I'm going to tap on that. This is actually your share icon. And from this point, this brings up different options here of what you might want to share. Uh, you have all these different uh, available things down in your list. If you want to send them by text, if you've got something like Dropbox or Google Drive uh, connected to your phone, you can also send your images there as well to back them up. Now, the other thing you can do is share the entire zip file without extracting it. So again, going to your downloads and looking in the list, find the zip file that you downloaded. Mine is in the middle of my screen and go ahead and tap on the three dots that are on the right side of that file name. From this point, this gives you different options here and you could tap on share. Share is going to bring up any of the uh, personal contacts that you have at the bottom of your screen as well as anything connected such as Google Drive, Dropbox, things like that where you can go ahead and send that file so that you've got it in a different place that's not on your phone. If I want to see these photos, I can just go ahead and tap on any one of them. This is going to bring up the photo on my phone. And now from this point, I've got access to all these photos. I can do what I want with this photo. Please take a second if this video helped you out. Smash that like button. Leave me a comment down in the comments section below. If this process worked for you, I greatly appreciate you watching. Next, I'm going to show you how to do this on a laptop or desktop computer. In this portion of the video, I want to show you how you can download all your photos from Facebook on a laptop or desktop computer. I'm using a web browser such as Google Chrome and I have gone to Facebook.com, logged in and I am uh, going to click on my profile icon which is in the upper right corner of my screen. From this point, uh, I'm going to go down to where it says settings and privacy. Go ahead and uh, click on that. Under settings and privacy, there's another gear icon that says settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this is now in my settings and privacy on the left column. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to get to the area of information where it says your information and there there is a second uh, text down that says download your information. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. My main screen now says download profile information in account center. So I'm going to click on this blue continue button. And now it says download your information in the center of the screen. It says download or transfer information. This button here I'm going to click on. It now brings me to this screen where it shows all my accounts and profiles. I've got several of them, some on Instagram, Facebook. I'm going to click the clear all up top there to deselect them all and just select the account that I'm going to pull photos from, which will be my Facebook account. With that selected, I'm going to click on the blue next button on the bottom. And then it's asking how much information that I want. So you can either do all available information or specific types. I'm going to click on specific types for just grabbing my photos. Under this area here, uh, halfway down the list, it says posts, which is where I want to pull my photos from. I'm going to go ahead and click the circle next to that to select it. With posts selected, I'm then going to click on the blue next button. From this point, I'm going to download all of this to my device. So I'll click the blue next button. And then it's going to give me options here. Uh, first, we're going to start with date range. So right now, last year is selected. Let's click on that. I can see all the different available ranges last week, last month, several months. For example purposes, I'm just going to choose last week. This is the smallest amount of images that I'm going to be downloading. Now you might want to do uh, several months or even several years. Just know that this download process to create a zip file takes longer the larger span of time you're selecting. And it's also going to just create a huge zip file to download, possibly several gigs. Uh, I suggest maybe doing smaller chunks, either 
buy every six months or like buy the year if you're planning on doing all of your photos just to break things up and make it a little bit more manageable. I've checked last week and now I'm going to click on the blue save button. You've also got options here where you can change the notify. So the email that it's going to send a notification to when it's done processing this download, you can change your format. So you have HTML or JSON. Um, JSON might have slightly more information. Uh, I'm just going to choose HTML for now. And then as far as media quality, you can do low, medium, or high. I'm going to choose medium for now. You might want to choose high quality if you're planning on doing something with the pictures. Maybe you want to create some prints from them, or you just want a higher resolution picture. You'd want to download the high quality. I'm going to go ahead and click on the create files blue button. And now this brings up a window saying in progress in the middle of the screen. It says in progress. It's creating that downloadable zip file. Uh, this is going to take a little bit of time, so we will come back. I'll actually get an email and a notification when it's done creating this download. So this didn't take very long. About two minutes later, I received an email here saying that the download is ready. And here I am back under my download your information area. I can now see that it, instead of it saying in progress, I've got a download button. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to download this file. It's going to prompt me to enter my password. I'm going to click continue. And now this file has been downloaded. I can see the file downloaded by going to the upper right of my screen. There's a little down arrow. This shows my downloads. I can go ahead and click on this. From this point, I can see the file that was downloaded. If I hover over this photo, there's a folder icon. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. This now opens up a Explorer window showing me the zip file that was downloaded from Facebook. On my mouse, I can right click. This brings up a menu and I'm going to select extract all. It's then going to prompt me where I'd like to put this. I'm going to put it in the same downloads folder. So I'm just going to click on extract. So from this point, we can see the extracted folder and it has all these different other folders with content in them. Because I chose HTML, it actually took the posts and it turned it into a web page which you can view. So if you click on this start here file, this will actually open the web page. You can search through these other file folders if you want. Uh, if you just want the actual photos, you can go to your activity across Facebook. I'm going to click into that. Then I'm going to click into posts, double clicking, uh, click into media, clicking into this mobile uploads. And now here I can see all of my photos that were actually uh, included in the download. Over on this lower right, I can change to a thumbnail. And we colored some Easter eggs because it's uh, just after Easter here and I can see those images from this point. I can do whatever I want to do with these photos. I can uh, copy them to a different folder, upload them to someplace like Google Drive or Dropbox, do whatever I want with these photos that I've downloaded from Facebook. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, please smash that like button. Shoot me a quick comment down below letting me know if you were able to download Load your photos and maybe how you plan to use them and during this video a little robot named Tinker popped up if you happened to spot Tinker popping up let me know the timestamp that is the amount of time into this video when he popped up down in the comments section below and if you are the first person to correctly let me know that timestamp your name will be added to our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page as well as I will give you a shout out in one of my future videos. My name is Jeff and I do weekly tutorial videos on this channel just like this one. So if you want to learn more about different software, apps, do-it-yourself projects or more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and I'd love to have you check out my videos every single week. As always, be sure to make every day awesome. I will see you in the next video.